Hey there fellow Segudo golfers, Tom Segudo here with your weekly e-tip and this week I'm going to be talking about controlling the path of the club using your arms and it is very doable and it's a really easy way for you to change the path of your golf club especially if you're having issues with either coming over the top or swinging too much from in to out so we're looking at situations where either you hit a big old fade or you hit a big old hook. Two different situations that we, we typically don't want to have. We want to strive for a little bit of neutrality here where we can hit a straighter ball with just a little bit of curve. Well, using your arms, and when I talk about arms, I'm talking about these two arms, not just one arm in particular. You can influence the path of the club however you want to. You don't need to think about body or hands or anything. You can use the arms solely for the purpose of controlling the path. So, for my over the top swingers out there, you know who you are. Don't look at me like you don't know who you are. I know who you are. You swing the club usually low and in like this and then proceed to go over on the downswing. Now, I don't like to see this anymore because I used to swing the same way. Proceed to go over and down on top of the golf ball. That low, usually hit a lot of pulls, pull hooks, pushes. I don't really want to cover the range of shots. It's like an infinite range of shots that you can hit. Well, if you struggle with this, we need to adjust the arm path accordingly. So if you struggle with this being too low in the takeaway and going over, we need to do the opposite. So take the club out and under. So take the club out here and under. This is changing the path of the club to the opposite. Old you, if you're over the top, in to over. New you, take the opposite. Out to under. In equals over, out equals under. That is the fix for the over the top swing path or the what is described as the out to in swing path. So out to in, we don't want that because if you're over the top, you'll be inconsistent. There's a motorcycle and it's really loud. All right. Now for those of you who struggle with hooking the ball, you have too much of this out to under. You have too much of this in to out swing path. So we need to start influencing more of the opposite. So for us to do that, you need to take the club back a little bit more in and you'll be, what's going to happen is you're going to take a little in and you're not going to swing over. It's going to feel like it, but you'll actually be swinging more on the line you should be. So paying attention to your path and making these little adjustments is going to help you hit a straighter ball flight in the long run. Most of you are going to find yourself in the situation where you swing in to over. So I know most of you are going to end up trying this out to under. Give it a shot on the range, but when you do this, keep in mind, when I am swinging over, my club is chopping down like this a lot of times. But when I'm swinging under, the club isn't chopping down at all you actually run the risk of topping the ball. So tee the ball up a little bit because you're going to top it, especially if this is something new. Tee it up a little bit, give yourself a grace period. It's okay to top the ball when we change the path like that. Then once you start getting more used to it, you won't be topping it anymore and your path is going to be perfect into that ball. I guarantee it. So Tom Segudo here, PGA member, founder of Segudo Golf, helping you make the most out of the game you love. Have an awesome week and see you on the range.